Is there something to be said about the the flip side of that, which is um, when you're training with people at the same skill level, being okay losing to them? Yes. You have to see training for what it is. Training is about skill development, not about winning or losing. You've got to you've got to understand that you don't need to win every battle. You only need to win the battles that count. <laughs> And the, the battles that count are in the world championship finals, okay? That, that's the one that counts. Think about that win, okay? That's the one you're gonna be remembered for. You're not gonna be remembered for the battle you lost on Tuesday afternoon at 3 p.m. in some nameless gym with some guy that no one cares about. No one's gonna remember that. You're gonna be remembered for your peak performances, not your everyday performances. Focus your everyday performances on skill development so that your peak performances, you can focus on winning. You know, I just... This is not a therapy session, but if I could just speak. <laughs> Every session is a therapy session. <laughs> there is still an ape thing in there. Of course, you think I don't feel it? You think everyone in the room doesn't feel it? Because for example, you haven't never seen me roll. Uh, you know, when there's people, you know, I, I've seen the look in people's eyes when they see me train and they, I could see maybe it's me projecting, but they think, I thought you were supposed to be good. I thought you were <laughs> supposed to be a black belt. Like that look, they're like studying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some therapy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people have come up to me over the years who have visited the training halls that I work in? And they come up to me and they go, man, I rolled with Gary Tonin. I did really well with him, like, like really well. Really well. I'm like, oh, that's very, very good, very impressive. And then I see them talking to their friends. I'm like, man, I tapped out Gary Tonin. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting there, going, yeah. And you can see that they're just like, whoa, dude, I, I'm, I'm way better than I thought I was. Yeah. Gary Tonin. All of my students, um, I push them in the direction of, of giving up bad positions so that they practice working, getting out of critical situations. It's a huge part of our training program. But Gary Tonin takes that to a level yeah, that, that just no one else even gets close. It's, it's just amazing. Like he will put himself in impossible situations where it's a fully locked strangle, 100% on with both his arms behind his back. And he'll try to work out from there. Yeah. And seven times out of 10, he does. But three times out of 10, he gets caught. He, I, I'm a huge advocate of handicap training, where you handicap yourself to work on skills. He's took that to heart, to yeah. a level that few people, I believe, I, I can just, match. I just wonder what his psychology is like, because there's- It goes back to what we talked about before, Lex. You have to understand it's skill development. Don't take it personally. Um, I understand. I, I hear where you're coming from. We've all got what you call the ape reflex, where we want to be dominant. Okay, yeah. we all do. Because there's thousands of white belts out there that have tapped Gary Tonin. Yeah, and they're walking around and they're, they're posting the same, online. Dude, I tap Gary Tonin. Like Gary Tonin's like one of the best in the world. So I'm one of the best in the world. And. Um, uh, does Gary get upset about this? No, of course not. Because Gary knows that when it counts on stage, he's going to be going 100% with a set of skills that very few people can match. Um, he can go into an EBI overtime at the 205 pound weight division against an ADCC champion, starting in a full arm lock position and effortlessly get out with no problems in seconds because he's been in that situation 25,000 times with varying degrees of skill opponents. And there's just no panic, no fear. He's just doing what he's done so many thousands of times. And um, that's a fine, fine example of a guy who didn't give a damn what happened in the training room. But when it counted on the stage in front of the cameras, it, it kicked in. 